today we're going to wire wrap one of these beautiful rose quartz crystal hearts you can see it's got the wrap that goes around both sides and is joined at the back it's got a twist part going up the middle I've got these beautiful rose quartz crystals here that are about 2.5 centimeters wide and they're just perfect for these little wire wraps which are good for either necklaces or key rings for this wrap we need 13 inches of the 20 gauge silver wire so I just start by measuring that out and cutting it then we just start by finding the middle of our wire this is going to be the little loop that goes around the bottom of the heart so you don't want it to be too pointy at this end so I'm just sort of rounding it off a little bit there Then grabbing the crystal, we're just sort of going to wrap it around the bottom part of the crystal. Just holding it across the bottom there and pushing the wires towards each other to form a loop that the crystal can't slip through. Those wires there just cross over each other on the center of the crystal on the back. And then we're just going to start by twisting the two wires together. Try and make sure that you're not twisting one wire around the other one. You're equally twisting both wires. Then just pop your crystal back in and just check how far you need to twist. So this part here, the twisted part, is going to go up and over the top of the crystal and down the other side. Just taking some time as you go to work with your wires as well and just make sure that your design is symmetrical and they're sitting how you like them. So this twisted part needs to be twisted until it comes down to this wire that's going across. You can see there I just need to twist it a little bit further. So I'll just twist it two more times and then pop my crystal back in to check it. Those twisted wires there are meeting up with the other piece of wire, so that's about the right length there. Now we just need to lift that little piece of wire that's going across the crystal up gently so that we can now poke these wires down underneath it. You just don't want to put your wires into any sharp bends, so sort of bending it backwards and just working gently with your wires, just working slowly with them so you don't put any bends in there. Then just pulling those wires through and in an outwards direction. So just try to make sure that they are quite tight as well. You want it to sit nice and secure on your crystal so that your crystal doesn't have any movement or it could fall out of your wrap. And so we just bring up the wires on each side of the twisted part of the wire. Then at the top of the crystal here, where the twisted wire comes over, we're just going to gently poke each wire underneath the twisted part and pull it out the other side. That one goes under in that direction and this one goes under this way. And pulling them nice and tight. So you should have the front part just with the twisted wire down the middle and then the back part should have the twisted part in the middle and then a piece of wire coming up each side. So just on the top there, we are just going to secure these pieces of wire. So just pulling one up nice and straight and then wrapping the other piece around that piece a couple of times just to secure that one in place nice and tight. And then cutting the tail off and crimping it down nice and tight. So now we're going to work on our bale at the top. So just checking that your crystal's all secure there. If you're happy with it, you can move on to the bale. When 
make the bale with the hole on the side so that when a chain goes through the bale, it will sit with the front side facing the front. So just turn the crystal on its side and bend that piece of white out a little bit and grab it with your round nose pliers and just bring that piece of wire around the pliers so that you're going to end up with a loop there. Just wrapping it around and we wrap it around two times just so we can get a nice strong bail there. You sometimes have to take your pliers out and move them. Then when you've gone around twice and your wire's meeting up at the bottom, you can just grab your little loops there and wrap that piece of wire around the bale. A few times until you're happy with the look of it and it's all sitting in there nice and secure and symmetrical. Then when you're happy with it, you can snip that little tail off and then we'll just crimp that in nice and tight. So now you can straighten up your loops and just check them all that they're sitting sort of side on and symmetrical and that your crystal, your design is sitting how you want it as well. You've got a little bit of play in those wires so you can move them around a little bit. Hopefully it's looking something like this and you can pop it on a chain and enjoy it.